Grade 11s, welcome to week 16. Today we're going to be revising the trigonometry you learnt last year. I'm not talking about trigonometric functions, I'm not talking about graphs anymore, I'm talking about what we do when we have little triangles. So let's start. First of all, if you have a right angle triangle, we can use the little acronym SOCATOA, SOCATO, where SOCATO stands for sine of theta, is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, the opposite side over the hypotenuse, remember this, cos theta is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, and tan theta is equal to the opposite end over the adjacent. So let's just look at an example. If for example I wanted sine of angle A. Sine of angle A is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Now the side that is opposite to the 90 degrees is always the hypotenuse. Since we are looking at this little angle A here, this side is the adjacent side because adjacent means next to and therefore little angle A is the side that's opposite to your big angle, the little side A. So sine A is going to be opposite of our partners, which in this case is going to be A over C. So grade 11s, you should be able to do this in your sleep because this is actually pretty easy and we did lots of this last year. Let's move on. Now your reciprocal ratios. Your reciprocal ratios for sine theta we had opposite of our partners, cos theta was adjacent of our partners, and tan theta is going to be opposite over adjacent. Now the reciprocal are basically the inverses, they're the same as 1 over sine theta, and 1 over sine theta is called cosecant theta, and that is equal to the hypotenuse over the opposite. 1 over cos theta is called secant theta, sec theta, which is going to be the hypotenuse over the adjacent. And 1 over tan theta is called cot theta, which is obviously then adjacent over opposite. So those are your reciprocals, this bit here. These are your reciprocals and you need to know them. Right, so if for example I want cut B, cut B. So again we know that this is the hypotenuse, this is the adjacent, this little area is adjacent side to my big angle B, so that's my adjacent side, and little b is going to be the opposite side to my big B, so this is the opposite side this time, and we want cut B, so cut B is adjacent over opposite, so this is going to be A over B. Nice and easy, right? Moving on. Remember your special angles. Your special angles are your 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 45 degrees. And grade 11, remember I told you last year that you needed to be able to draw these and you needed to be able to know that in your 30 degrees, 60 degree triangle it becomes 2, 1, root 3 and in your 45, 45 it's root 2, 1, 1. Just so that you don't get confused, last year we drew this slightly differently. We had this here was 60, that was 30, this was 2, this was 1 and root, this was root 3. But it works out to be exactly the same, doesn't matter which triangle we're using, if we do that triangle or this triangle, it'll still work out that sine 30 is opposite over hypotenuse, which is one half, cos 30 is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is root 3 over 2. So it doesn't matter which of these triangles you've learnt, it should still be the same, it will be the same. So please make sure you know how to do these and how to use them because we use them a lot when we're talking about solving for things without using your calculator. And finally the cast diagram. Remember the cast diagram? Basically it was saying that we had this coordinate plane where we went 
anti-clockwise, so it's 0, 90, 180 to 70 to 360, so it's 0, 90, 180 to 70, 360. This is called quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. And the reason it's called the cast diagram is because of the C-A-S-T, where A stands for all, as it's written there, which means that everything is positive. Your sign, your cos, and your tan is positive in your first quadrant. S stands for sign, so only your sign, so sign of 120, sign of 180, anything between 90 and 180, if it's sign, it's positive. Tan is positive between 180 and 270, and your cos is positive between 270 and 360. Another way that we remember it is by saying all stations to Cape Town, but I really don't mind which way you learn it as long as you get it right. And that grade 11s is basically the summary of what we learned last year. Make sure you know it because we're going to be teaching you new stuff soon.